Hello everybody and welcome to my 114th VBA tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how you can create a SQL file from your um, Excel sheet uh, using your VBA. Uh, so very similar to the HTML one, um, it's just we want to put it into SQL format. Um, so first thing we want to do is just do change our file path to MySQL and then do it as a .sql file um, and the advantage of this is you can just then take your SQL and you can uh, put it into your database or just import it into your database and run it um, sometimes if you haven't got the ability to connect to your database directly through Excel then this can be quite a quick way to just add extra data in um, and then so in here we just want to set up our uh, SQL string uh, so we want to do uh, my uh, dim SQL string as string um, and we want to make SQL string equals insert into and then we want to put in our table name uh, so my table name is just going to be called my table uh, insert into my table open bracket uh, and then we want to put in our field so let's close that off uh, and we're going to do do until uh, we want to have a column counter so uh, dim c col count as integer col count equals one then do until this um, let's do a with here so with this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells uh, we don't want to do dot cells because we're just doing our with at the moment and with and then we want to do do until dot cells cold count and we want to put in our row first so one comma cold count dot value equals nothing and we want to loop and we want to do cold count equals cold count plus one Uh, and for each one of these, we just want to put in our field name. So this is our name at the top uh, that I've got on here. So you'd need to make sure these field names here match the names of the field in your database. Uh, so let's go SQL string equals SQL string and apostrophe and dot cells one comma co count dot value uh, and then that will go through and it will add all your fields in uh, at the end we want to put in and apostrophe uh, and we want to separate them by a comma um, but we don't want to put a comma on the last one so let's remove that comma afterwards so let's say SQL string equals uh, left SQL string comma length SQL string minus one and that'll just get rid of the last comma for us um, so that's going to put in our field if we just play that and message box out the SQL string you'll see what it looks like so let's press play um, and I haven't renamed my sub so create SQL file play so insert into table my name 
and then age. Um, so we actually want to do um, ampersand here and we want to do a closing bracket for our fields and then we want to do values open bracket and then apostrophe and let's keep that message box actually no let's get rid of the message box um we then want to loop through the columns again uh and each time we uh we want to loop through the rows actually so let's dim ourselves a row counter so dim our count as integer our count equals one and then we want to do until our count comma one dot value equals nothing so loop down all of the rows and let's get rid of that and we want to reset our column count to one because we want it to loop through the columns as well equals one so and um, we want to do our count equals our count plus one and then each row we loop through we want to go through the columns as well uh, so let's just paste this in and just loop through the columns and press loop here um, and then for so this is going to loop through all the rows all the columns uh, and each time we get to the end of a column we're just going to want to do SQL string equals and let's set that one a bit later so let's do it in here first so SQL string equals SQL string and and we'll want to do comma apostrophe and then our end one and then our field name so dot cells our count comma col count dot value ampersand underscore so we can go on to the next line and then we want to do an apostrophe just to close it off um, I'm actually going to do the comma at the end not at the start let's do a comma and so that's going to keep adding in our fields um, we're actually going to want to do something to test what type of input they are so if um, we want to take our uh, this is numeric and we want to put that at the start is numeric then else if is date then else and if um, so all this is doing is testing what type of input it is um, whether it's a number whether it's a date or whether it's anything else so if it's anything else we want to be putting in our apostrophes uh, if it's a date then we want to copy this oh, copy uh, and we want to be changing these apostrophes for hashtags because that's how we put in our dates um, And if it's a number, then we don't want anything in there because you just put it in as a number. Um, so that's going to create them. And then we want to go back to our end of the column where we want to get rid of the final apostrophe again. So let's do our left SQL string, length of SQL string minus one and 
we want to do a closing one uh, and then a comma ready for our next column uh, and then finally at the end after it's done all the looping through we're going to have one scale comma so we're going to want to get rid of that so I'm just going to go and press play on this and then show you the string that gets created uh, so if we go to our desktop and we open up my SQL so let's open it in Notepad++ and you're going to see it's got nothing in it because I haven't actually told it to fill it with anything yet so let's just delete that and then we want to do uh, we want to come out of our end with and do dot right line SQL string and let's actually change that to minus two and at the end of here I'm going to add a space so it's just going to put things on new lines uh, and then let's also put our values on new lines as well just to make it a bit tidier and so it's got our right line and let's press play on this and let's open up our file you see it's got insert into my table values and then it's not actually the looping through properly and that because I haven't I'm not resetting my column counter at the start of each row uh, so let's go column count equals one and we don't need it there and then let's delete our old one and then press play and look at our new one and you'll see now that it's pasting them in um, it's not doing my open brackets at the start so let's put them in as well and so let's go ampersand open bracket and then down here let's do minus three and delete our old one press play reload it and there you'll see you've got a perfectly valid SQL string in order to enter into your database so you just copy that and put it in your database and it would insert it all in for you um, and quite a lengthy tutorial there so uh, apologies if you start falling asleep um, if you've got any questions let me know it can be really really useful so I suggest you uh, either download this uh, example and keep the code somewhere uh, just in case you ever want to paste data into a table quickly from stuff you've got in Excel. Uh, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.